So we talked a little bit about what the last lessons were telling you to do, but can you give me an idea of what the misses are when you hit shots? Um, generally, like I strike the ball like with irons pretty okay. Obviously you saw that as a miss. And then um, now either what I tend to do is push it a little bit where I want the ball to start and it'll keep going that way. Okay. Or if it draws, it draws a little too much. Yep. And then sometimes when I get in the slot, like that's where I want my little baby draw to be. Okay. Right? But so where I feel I'm going wrong is I'm either flipping too early or is just my club face control is bad because I'm assuming it's my grip or something. Okay. All right. Okay. So all of those shots sound like they should show up based on what I know that you do with the swing. Um, so we'll talk about what I'm seeing and then kind of, you know, get on a different path from there. And what's your target? Um, aiming for, I can't say yellow, but um, just behind the yellow flag. Yeah, so right down the, the flag line? Yeah. Okay, cool. I want to start it a little right away. Okay. What's that? It is a little bit, yeah. Well, missing the green. Yeah. Because if you hit seven iron off the tee, we have things to talk about. I don't. Okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't. And my other issue is like, distance control is bad. Yeah. Because on, on some days, I can carry this thing 210 yards. Yep. Easily. Yep. And on some days, I'll barely stop one day. Right. Which so it's hard like to play. It, is just really bad. It's hard to play strategic golf when you have a 40 yard window with a club. Right? It could be 10 oh, yards short or 10 yards at out of bounds. At that point, I'm just taking like the shortest club and just doing a baby swing. Okay. Because I don't have the confidence for my distance control. Right? If I see like a 160, technically I should be pulling out a 9 iron. But I'll like slow, I'm like, okay, pull out an 8 and just slow down with it. And when I slow down, the ball goes over there because I'm just in my head decelerating the club and I'll just hit it off the hosel and it just. The only thing I my issue is like I don't know how to switch. Okay. It's just that's how I've always swung. Okay, so once we get an idea of what I want you to do and you practice kind of the moves for a little bit, then we'll start working on like half shots. Yeah. Or like half feels. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So a straight ball that goes to the right or a ball that curves hard to the left, those really go together. Got it. Okay. Two curves, that's a problem. Pretty good. Okay, one more. Cool. So a straight ball that goes to the right or a ball that curves hard to the left, those really go together. Two curves, that's a problem. So posture and all that stuff looks pretty good. Uh, you've got a seriously strong grip. Mm -hmm. So when this club goes back, it really stays pointed to the ground. Um, and I understand why you're doing that because you came from a place where you're trying to fix a slice. Um, but the club gets super strong. So when we get into a good position up here, the fact that that grip with that face is so closed mm -hmm. it's kind of making you react a little bit to maybe swing a little bit more out to the right than we want mm -hmm. um and then we get this look at the end of your swing here where you know, right right there where your elbow's bent and your wrist is bent Chicken. yeah and we want to try and find a way today to keep that lengthened and long mm -hmm. all right so let's go to the couple over here so the first thing that we're going to look at today is trying to feel like we can change your takeaway a little bit. And it's going to be very similar to what we talked about in short game yesterday. Yeah. Um, 
I want this takeaway to, to when we look at it that the club hit doesn't get so far behind your body line. Right, so if I drew an outline of your body here, I want the club head to stay a little more inside the body line, meaning that you know we're going to get this club more vertical on you. That's going to open the face for you a little bit without trying to change the grip too much. I want to just see if we can work around your grip with this today. Right. Um, so, I mean, when we look at your swing here, it's a great place to kind of deposit to have a chat. Um, when you deliver this club into the ball, when the club gets like even with the ground, mm -hmm. there's a clicker in the iPad, so frame by frame. But when this club comes down, even with the ground, we yeah. get the club a little too far inside your hands. Um, Meaning? Um, it's a little bit, well, because we take it up as behind you, yeah. it kind of gets behind you in the downswing too. So a little bit too much. So we can see that right there, mm -hmm. when the club's kind of even with the ground, the club's too a little too much inside your hand, so that means it's going to swing out on it. But I think that you swing out on it because of how the grip is, right? The more closed the face is, the yep. more we react to it. By closed face, we swing out on the ball, open face will cut across the ball. Right. Okay, so um, the big pieces of the puzzle I think today is going to be really feeling as though that we can tweak the backswing a little bit yep. to get this club more in front of you. Um, and a little more vertical, right? So we're going to get the, the backswing more vertical earlier. And I think that in itself is going to help not only the getting the club too far under you, right? We can kind of see here in the downswing, the club gets under your arms right there, right? If we can keep it a little bit higher from the ground, you're not only going to get steeper on it, yeah. which is going to be a nice thing because I think that when you hit the ball, you, the club hits the ground early. Um, when I sometimes, sometimes, yeah. yeah. But usually, I, I'm I think I'm pretty okay at hitting the turf after the ball. Um, what my issue used to be beforehand is when I would take away, I would do this. So I used to have a really bad cup and wrist problem, and that's why I struggle with the driver because I tend to still do that with driver. So you strengthen your grip to find the fix that. This? I think in my head I just need to go one, two. Sure, you can totally do that. Just so that. The, the downswing has a lot to do with this too is that when you get the club at the top, you really swing your arms past your body, right? And I want it to feel as though that when you get this club straight up yeah. and then get the shaft straight up and take it up to the top that way, that your body is getting up to the finish before your club goes up into the follow through. So, so like we can think arm. of this, yeah, we can think of this like sequence. You can think of this as though you have to be uh, earlier and more powerful with your turn to the target or you take some of the speed away from your arms. And most of the time, nine out of 10 times, it's the golfer going from here and trying to put the club back on the ball too soon, right? My arms can move way faster than my torso. So my arms have to feel as though that they wait for my turn to start and then they can come into the ball. But I uh, set up to a shot for me. So if this right here, this club on the ground was a wall, you have to feel like you get your body up tall against that wall before the club comes through, especially this leg. Push that forward more, good. And then now brings your chest and everything there. So if that wall is here, I wanna feel like I'm up tall against the wall, not bent down and short, right? I have to straighten out my legs, push out my hips and get tall up against that wall. See, one, one other tendency I have is I tend to push forward. Yeah, but you do that because the club's in the wrong spot. That's a reaction to other things. Yeah, so uh, show me the backswing part where the toe of the club gets straight up in the sky. Good, now shaft straight up in the sky, okay. Now feel like you lead with your body turn. Lead with your body getting here, good. It's not gonna be fast with the arms. You're gonna have to slow your arms down a little bit. It will, It'll. they get pulled, right? Your arms are supposed to get pulled. So if we think of it this way, like if you squeeze your arms to create power, they're pulling in towards you. And I wanna feel as though that my arms are actually getting longer in the downswing because my body's trying to get up to that wall before my arms swing through. Yeah, but I don't want you to feel like you're doing that with the club because that's still all arms. I want it to feel like you're turning your body through and your arms and club follow along. Okay, so it'll feel like your arms and club are soft and they move slow in the follow through, not fast, slow. All the speed we need to create is before the club hits the ball. 
but you've got arm speed and grip speed past impact. And that's where the fat, the fins, and the hooks come from. So the body turning up against the wall is what puts the club and the arms into the finish. There you go. So no arm speed on the, on the follow through. Just feel like you turn your body tall toward that wall. And it, I don't want speed yet. I just want like form. And with regards to the club like on the finish here. Yep. Low handle. There you go. Cool. Yep, and the only way it gets high is if you put it there. And putting it there means speed. So I have to slow myself down a little more. No, I mean, I'm nowhere there yet. But when you're creating club head speed, yeah. and you're coming down, and as I turn, this, this push off the ground and turn is what sort of... Yeah, but if you do that too much, you're going to jump too early. I just want you to feel for now that you're turning the front of your legs to the wall and that they're tall, they're high up the wall. So some of these miss hits are because you're kind of going through the motions and it's a little slow. So I'm not too concerned with that. So any ball that goes too far to the right or any ball that curves to the left means we need to get the takeaway uh, club head up to the sky happening better. More, More vertical. Yep. Not bad, one more time. Oh. what we talked about previously, the reason that we're getting, stand over here, the reason that we're getting those thin shots has a lot to do with what's going to power this downswing. All right, so once we have the lines on the club straight up, and then we have the shaft straight up from here, trying to feel as though that this almost stays here as you start moving into your shot. Now the moving into the shot is kind of a little bit different for everybody. So take it to the top of your swing. Okay, I want you to feel like you're moving into it with, the, with your lats, with this side of you. So push this down to the ground and then push it forward. So down to the ground and then forward. And it has to be in front of this arm. But if you're going from here and you're pulling on the arm and it's passing the side of your body, then it, we're not getting the pull from where we need it from. So it's not necessarily that hips start the downswing. It's a little bit more that once I get here that I pull with like my ribs or my lat, it goes down and forward. And if I can get it down and forward, then it drags this club all the way to here. So we're not powering it so fast from here, finishing really high. Okay, so. Right, notice how the flight comes down when I really do that. Stand right here in front of me and you can see that this pull down and pull forward, like I'm way in front of the golf ball doing that. But if I'm back here and I'm swinging my arms through, it kind of keeps me a little bit back here, but prevents me from turning. So leave the arm behind this, that then this is pulling to the target. Okay, try that again. Okay, show me that one. Hey, that was a different move. Yep. 
Yes. So we can think of this in terms of a leg. So take it up to the top of your swing, toe up, shaft up, hold it there. Okay, so the leg is the distance between your glove mm -hmm. and this. So if that will start pulling down to the ground and then forward to the target, right? If that keeps turning out of the way, then we have separation, right? But the second that the glove catches up to this thing that's trying, that doesn't turn, whew, yeah, goes everywhere. Good ball, way to go. So by trying to feel like we can do something with the arms on the way back and then not do something on the way through, that's going to be our magic. No, start again. So just the toe up and then stop. Good, now shaft straight up. There, and now take it up to the top from there. You got it, wonderful. Toe up of the club. Good, shaft up, awesome. Okay, start again. Now do that same thing and show me it on the finish. Well done. So if the ball goes to the right or curves to the left, it was the arms out of sequence. If you really lead with the chest finishing through and the, the arms will get there, that's the one that goes the straightest. Great shot. Love it.